Hello everyone and welcome back to Prestige Reef. It's currently 6am which is way too early to be this chirpy but for the first time ever the UK is having a coral show. So you know obviously in America you have Machna and Reef of Palooza and Aquashella. Well we, uh, well this one in theory could be the start of our one which is called Coral Freaks. Um, now it's, uh, it's about two, two hours away. Uh, it's cold, so you know, obviously, as you can see, I'm in my winter attire, so I've, I've retired the, uh, the t-shirts or the polo shirts and flip-flops and, you know, the, um, the turtlenecks back. Um, the show is uh, supposedly about sustainability uh, for both the industry, uh, but also the natural reefs, which is a great thing to have the show around. Um, so, so yeah, so I'll stop talking. Uh, the next time you see me, I'll be at the show and hopefully you enjoy it. As this was the first UK show, it was naturally in popular demand. However, for fire safety reasons, only 300 people were allowed to attend, making it a reasonably exclusive event. Even I almost missed out, as I believed I secured the seventh last ticket before they sold out. I've said this many times before, but the best parts of these events is always the people, and it was good to see this familiar face again. Right, time to head in. Naturally, all the time I was here, I was comparing it to both big and small scale shows which I've been to previously, and there was one thing that stood out about this one above all the rest. There was no instruction to form an orderly line, but this is exactly what everyone did, and it was quite possibly the most British thing I've ever seen. Usually, when I attend these shows in America, it's a free-for-all, with everyone running in all different directions to find the best deals. Naturally, for an event called Coral Freaks, the coral trays were a highlight. So often I hear people complaining that other countries get better corals than we do. Well, every coral you see in this video was at the show, and as you can see, we also have a good selection to choose from ourselves. We just have to know where to look. Many of you will already know that I have a thing for mushroom corals, and there were more than a couple which I would have loved to have taken home. However, I'm not really in the market for new corals at the moment. Or so I thought. But you'll have to wait to the end to find out what I purchased. These shows are also great places to meet the people behind the products which we use, with one very famous character working a booth. Who knew he even owned a tie? He wasn't the only recognisable face in the room either, with Reef Dork and Ian's Coral Reef showing up as well. You all know by now that it's the less famous faces which I enjoy the most, and when you make me feel famous, I like to take a picture of you and include it in a video to make you feel famous as well. Something else that many people that attended would have enjoyed is the ability to see and touch products which many of them may not have even heard of before, and although I was at Magna last month, there were still products which I've never seen in the flesh, including Aqua Illuminations, brand new lights, the Senai Spectra, and even something simple like Max Specs Coral Glue Gun. All products which I'll probably be using in the near future on my new coral system. I also can't wait to get my Red Sea Tank wet and test out some of their products. I have to say though, the piece de resistance of the show were the talks, with a special mention to Jamie Craggs, who gave one of the most interesting talks on coral which I've ever had the pleasure of listening to. Jamie is without a doubt a pioneer with regards to breeding coral in captivity, and his research could one day be the key to saving reefs all over the world. Finally, let's have a look at some of the freebies I got to take home from the show. As you can see, I got some Red Sea Carbon, Fish Foods, books from TMC, and some t-shirts which are so large when I put them on it's like I'm wearing an old lady's nightie. I'll be honest with you, I wasn't sure exactly what to expect, however I had a really good time. But before I show you what coral I got, there's one major thing which I think that this and other shows can improve on. Those freebies weren't the only thing which I took home. A big part of these shows, as I said at the beginning, is about sustainability of the hobby, but also the natural reefs. And something which slightly contradicts that is the amount of rubbish from all the goodie bags, drinks bottles and polystyrene coffee cups. This is something the manufacturers really need to start thinking about more seriously if they plan to practice what they preach, and I hope that in the near future they consider alternate options. On a slightly lighter note, 
as promised, the coral I ended up taking home was one of these bright green toadstools. The last time I bought a toadstool must have been 10 years ago, so this certainly wasn't what I was expecting to be taking home that day. I hope you enjoy watching my video, please feel free to comment below if you have any questions. If you did enjoy it, why not click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Have a good week and I'll see you next time. As always I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that supports the channel on Patreon. Never underestimate the value of what you do with regards to keeping this channel going. You've all been brilliant, thank you.